it's been a, a year of ups and downs. I mean, I am personally completely convinced that I will work out at home for however long now, but it suits me. I've got children. I've been completely converted to this way of doing it. How are you seeing things evolve as we go back into a situation where we're worried about the virus? Well, honestly, I, I think the pandemic showed people that working out at home is, is extremely effective. I mean, this has been the premise of the company since we started it 20 years ago. Uh, so the pandemic really accelerated something that was our premise from the get-go. I mean, P90X was our first billion dollar product 15 years ago, and now we've got over 100 programs on the Beach Body On Demand platform. But I, I think what we're seeing is not necessarily that people, you know, will ever leave the gym, uh, like that will never end. However, there are 150 million people in North America alone who aren't members of gyms, who want to feel better, who want to feel less vulnerable to getting sick and feel more in control of their own well-being. And those are the people who will turn to in-home fitness like Beachbody in order to take control of their own well-being. Remind us why you're different from example, Peloton, who at the moment everyone's loving to beat, beat up on in some way, shape or form. Why is Beachbody different from their workouts? Well, Beachbody is unique in the space because we've never been a one-sided approach. I mean, we've got this incredible catalog of content. We have an amazing connected bike, which uses heart rate based training and content that literally feels like you're in a class. But we also have two nutrition programs to help people make better food choices and control their portions. So like without feeling like you're on a diet, you're actually getting great results because you're doing the workout on the bike or you're doing your workout in front of the screen, but you can't out train your fork. So we help people with the food issue too. And that's why they can count on results from Beachbody. Meanwhile, shout out to P90X. I'm seeing on the chat that our director did it, loved it. So clearly like there is an addiction there. I'm, I have to say, after I interviewed you previously, I've never had such an outpouring on Twitter of people who love the product, but also have been deeply upset by the roller coaster ride that your share price has been on. I'm sure none more so than you yourself as a CEO. But how has that been? How have you felt, you know, being in the glare of the public markets? It's definitely different. Um, normally, you'd have control to be able to work through uh, headwinds um, outside of the public eye. And, you know, uh, as the largest single shareholder of the company, um, I have the most to gain and the most to lose. And in all this, I am literally side by side with the shareholder. I haven't sold a share um, for years. My job is to make sure that we provide a good experience for the shareholder at the same time that we meet our mission of helping people achieve their goals to lead healthy, fulfilling lives. And that's the good news. While right now, uh, it's it's rocky for the entire fitness space. As you mentioned, Peloton, we've heard of other companies and we've seen what uh, Lululemon announced about their um, forecasts for Mirror. Mm. We know that right now in the midst of a pandemic, this is not, and, and particularly in the fourth quarter, this is not the time that a lot of people start a fitness program and we're seeing that in the results. But we've been in this for 23 years and every first quarter, <laughs> people get tired of feeling sick and tired and that's when they come back to find a solution. And we believe we've got that solution and that will ultimately be reflected in our results and the share price.